creates and produces the hard-edged industrial rock Nine Inch Nails are known for all by himself. And he rarely talks to the media, but he talked to me. You know, everybody says you're like an elusive guy who's like, you know, so dark and everything, you don't seem that scary to me. It's all, it's all on the inside. I'm not really comfortable with um, any of the celebrity that goes along with just playing music, so I try to avoid it, and I don't, not to be uh, difficult, I just don't enjoy, you know, that sort of thing. But this was a special occasion. Nine Inch Nails became one of the highlights of Woodstock 94, when Reznor and his band came out as one with the mud people. Doesn't it make you feel better? I have expected Reznor to have a cynical view of the whole Woodstock experience, but was surprised. It was a lot cooler than I feared it might be with the corporate influences that have kind of permeated the whole Woodstock thing. Yeah. Um, and I think if it's looked at as that, you know, if it becomes more than that, in a historical point of view, great. But to look at it as something that's going to have the same significance that the first one did, I think is foolish. <laughs> You guys did the Natural Born Killers soundtrack, right? Or you did? Well, you did. I, to clarify, I edited the soundtrack together and added some of my own music, but... Um, Are you happy with it? I'm very happy. I think it's a great film, and I'm very proud to be involved with it. And, um, I think it's going to irritate a lot of people. I think it's going to really? make a lot of people think. It's going to piss a lot of people off, and that's a good thing. Did somebody just vote you one of the 10 sexiest men in rock and roll? Who was that it? would have been Playgirl magazine. Was it? I got coerced into doing this interview and uh, with Playgirl. And I'm on the phone and the woman says, you know, so how do you feel about being voted uh, one of the 10 sexiest rockers? And I, and I said, uh, was I? And she said, yeah. I, said, oh, uh, I, guess, I guess good, you know. Very uncharacteristic, but very cool. Keep them guessing, Trent, right? Anyway, I'm sure you'll be hearing more about Nine Inch Nails real soon. They're playing an already sold-out show at the USC Pavilion on September 3rd. Walter?